Well, good afternoon. I'm off for a walk around Crummer Quarter. Why not come with me and get some landscape photography? Well, good afternoon, and it is relatively just afternoon. We're a little bit after 12, probably getting on for quarter past to half past 12 now. And I decided, yeah, we'll get out again. And it's a while since I've been to Crummer Quarter, so I thought, let's go and have a wander around Crummer Quarter. So that's the plan for today. I parked just... Um, I suppose but there's a, a free car park just a bit north from Buttermere, which is where I've parked. And now I'm heading, I think it's, um, I'd have to look at the map, but more or less south from the car park uh, towards Randerdale Knots. And I'll get towards, get to Buttermere, and then we'll go around the bottom of Crummer Quarter, then up the other side. We're not going to go to, to Scale Falls today, we don't have time for that. Yep, so we've got the other side, round to the bottom where the weir is, etc. And then back round to the car park. And hopefully we'll find a few spots to get some nice images while we do that. It's, it's probably about a seven, seven or eight mile walk. So we'll see how we get on, but that's where we're going. So, yep, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've now come up to Buttermere Hawes, that's what time where it's been called. Um, there's a bit of land jutting out into the lake, there you can see water. And in a sense we're taking a, a shortcut, now whether it is a shortcut, because we cut out the corner, but we do, as you see, we do come up quite a bit. And there you can see the footpath going back round down to the lake and then we'll continue to work our way round. Now this up here is Ranadale Knots. I have been here before, um, I maybe put the link up to the the video when I came round Crumb of Water the, the last time and did come here. This was towards the end of the walk because I parked in a different place. Um, but you can see that's the c composition there. You can see the camera, and we've got the the lake, bit of the lake, um, Buttermere village. Although it's mainly covered with trees, you can just I can just see whether you can bits of glistening that'll be actually Buttermere. But then you got at the back Fleetwith Pike and haystacks, and then you've got some of the big mountains coming down here that um, not all just the end ones are in the frame so yeah it's um it's not the most earth shattering of images and the light is fairly um bland at the moment so yeah we'll just carry on see what we can find but you can see that's where we're going to go the other side um now up there in those tr trees um i'll maybe highlight it on on the video is scale force um, but we're not going there today but that's well worth a visit um, it's waterfall with the single most highest or longest drop in the lake district so uh, but we're just gonna follow the lake round and see what images we can come at there's um, a bit of a peninsula again there now whether there's anything to be had from there I don't know we'll see as I say it's not the best of light today but anyway you've just got to come out you've got to be in it to win it and um, so we've come out and we'll see what we can get but we've got the images there I'm sure they're reasonable and we'll put them up on the video and we'll carry on so we'll see you a little bit later
Right, we now find us on this peninsula, and I think it's Low Ling Crag, and we're more or less opposite, looking across there to Ranadale Knots, and that's where we stopped to take the picture, the image just before, just after we'd set off before we got down towards Buttermere. And I can, I think I can see across there. You may not be able to to see. You might be able to see some cars, but I think I can actually see the van across there. So that's where I'm parked, and. We've got to go right down to the end there. But I've come up with a composition. You can see that there's the camera there. Now I'm looking across to the big one is Grassmoor. Big one on the uh, left. And on the right, we've got rounded down knots. And then in the middle, I think it's Whiteless Pike. So I've got the 16 to 35 mil lens on and it's fully open. So. Yeah, I think that's a reason. Well, there's a bit more light on it than there was earlier on. So, yeah, we'll see how we can get. We'll maybe just have a, a look around, see if there's any other compositions, and then we'll head on down to the, the bottom of the lake. Because um, obviously we need to to get back in time for tea. So, yeah, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come past the old pumping house, you'll have seen that on the B-roll, and we're now at the, the top, bottom of the lake, or well, virtually at the bottom of the lake, and I came up with a couple of compositions. The other thing I was going to say, when I was here, I think it's nearly two years ago now, I did take quite a bit of drone footage and I haven't got a huge amount of time today, so if there's any of that that's appropriate, I'll put that up you may have already seen it so yeah I've taken oh three different compositions the one that we've got now if we come round and you can see the camera there and we're looking at I'm, oh, I'm tempted to um, stop the video and and take a picture because just looking at that that is absolutely stunning in the video camera so i'll stop there get some stills and then we'll catch up with you a little bit later right well we're back have taken some pictures but by the time i got it sorted out the light wasn't as good as it was here if it comes keeps changing if it comes round again i've got the the actual composition set up now so we can we can get that a lot better um yeah, so what you can see now, the composition we've got now, is more or less what you're seeing through the video camera. But what I had done was in port, put it into portrait mode to get so I could get the top of grass more. And I'll zoom in so you can see the actual boathouse at the bottom there, all in the same portrait image. So yeah, I mean that that was that, and I also have taken. If we zoom back out, just looking down the lake with Ranadale knots and the other peaks which 
escaped me at the moment. There's Red Pike and eventually is going down to Haystacks, etc. I took one, um, sort of zoomed in a bit, probably not dissimilar to that, but then I did uh, get the long lens out and go to the full 200 and just zooming in down the valley and getting the layers of the, the hills as you look between them there. So that hopefully that'll come out quite good. But yeah, it's been a good afternoon. As I say, time is always seems to be against me. I don't know what time it is now. If we just look on the little corn camera. Um, yeah, it was four o'clock, so I've got about just over an hour before I could do to be back at the car. I mean, it's not the end of the world if, um, if I don't get back. I'll just be late, later home than I would have liked. But yeah, so it's, I mean, it's just so beautiful around here. It is magnificent and particularly when the, <laughs> the light's right. And as I say, the light came out and by the time I got sorted, it was starting to fade. But what I am going to go do is just go a bit further down there. I don't know whether you can, probably can't make it out through this. But there is a sort of weir down there, which which I have uh, captured its image before. But we might have another go, see if we get some good images. And then it's heading back to the van, which is up that way. It's not quite as far as Ranadale Knots, but... Um, it's a fair way, but hopefully it's a good path and I can stride out. So, right, if these images are any the images that are the best, we'll put up on the video and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've made it to the weir and I was beginning to think maybe the lake wasn't high enough but it is. I mean it's not coming over, I'm sure it comes over in torrents more when the lake is even fuller but no it's coming over quite a bit and you can see there's the camera and the composition is similar to what we've got there. And I've taken two different ones one at the normal settings which I think is about an 80th of a second and then we've I've done some with a 10 stop ND filter on to give um, I think it was a 10 second exposure now I'm well aware that this is a, a Marmite thing some people like uh, the long exposures and some people don't so what I will do assuming both images are, are reasonable I will put both up and then hopefully can try and um, please more people than if, if I choose one that I prefer um, as opposed to what some people like. 
So, yeah, I mean, that's, this is the final composition as time is marching on and we've got to get back to the van to get home. So, yeah, it's been a good day so far. So, yeah, we'll put those images up and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well, we're on our way back to the van now, and I think I think we're going to be all right time-wise. It's about um, twenty to five, and it's probably about a mile. So hopefully, I'll be there by five. Get away by quarter past five, which should mean I'll be home by six o'clock. So, but yeah, it's been a good good afternoon. It's good to get out and actually do a bit more of a walk. And the last one that you'll have seen, if, if you've seen it, if you haven't, please go and watch it, was when I went to Osdale Head. And I was, I would say I was just meandering around a bit then rather than walking, but this is a definite, a definite walk. Um, I don't know whether I can, if I can just, uh, I don't know whether I can get this off while I've, yeah, that's it. Um, we've done nearly seven miles, so by the time we get back to the van, it's probably going to be around about eight miles. So now it's a good, good walk to get out. So yeah, my normal spiel now. If you've enjoyed the video, please, please click the thumbs up. It does help the algorithm enormously. And if you like what I'm doing, why not subscribe? That also helps the algorithm, helps the channel. We are slowly growing. Uh, in the beginning of the year, we were doing quite well, but we've, we're not, not quite stagnated, but um, the number of subscribers isn't particularly increasing greatly. Although I did see this morning, when I checked the statistics before I came out, we've actually hit, um, oops, can't go that way. 600 subscribers so that's that's good um the target at the moment is to get where there's added things i can do and maybe try to create a community and for that i need 500 subscribers so i've met that and but the um view time uh, i'm quite a bit short of at the moment it's um what is it three thousand hours per annum which i'm quite a bit short of so yeah if you've enjoyed it so if you've enjoyed it as i say click the thumbs up subscribe that all helps and spread the word around uh particularly if you enjoy it and if there is anything please please do comment i gre greatly appreciate comments i mean as i said when I was doing the one at the way I will put both the normal and the long exposure up because I'm aware that it is a bit of a marmite thing that people either like or dis or don't like long exposures. I quite like them, um, but I, I, I am aware that there is at least one subscriber, and you can see his comments on the previous one. That although he enjoyed the video, he doesn't particularly like long exposures. So I'll put them both up and then. We'll try and keep as many people happy as possible but i do respond to all comments and i do um try and take them on board if i think they're appropriate so 
yeah what we're going to do for the next one i'm no idea on saturday i'm due to go across to the northeast for an evening uh, meeting on, on as i said on saturday so whether i set off very early and go somewhere on the way i don't think i'm going to go quite across to the the coast again although i may do that at some point so i'm not quite sure but uh, i mean this will be coming out all being well on sunday when i've already been to the meeting so yeah i'm just trying to get ahead a bit it'd be useful to have one in the bag and be doing another one rather than suddenly thinking like last week or on thursday went out to do the towards dale head and then not quite scrabbling around but around to get it done and up for the sunday so yeah i do waffle don't i so yeah so i'm not quite sure what we're doing next next for the next one but there will be another one all being well god permitting and yeah we'll we'll see where we end up but um yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll see you on the next video.